Hey YouTube, how art thou? I hope you're doing good. I hope you guys are staying safe during the time of this pandemic, washing them hands, using your hand sanitizer, all of that good stuff. But today we're gonna talk about a city, a city that is located in the Sunshine State. What's the Sunshine State? One might ask. The Sunshine State is Florida. And this city is nicknamed the First Coast, the River City. Murder capital of Florida and Calford. Of course, I'm talking about Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida is a place that I was just at a couple of days ago. It's beautiful there. Um, it was founded in 1513 by Ponce de Leon, supposedly. And uh, as of 2019, the population of Jacksonville was 911,507. Like I said, I was just there a couple of days ago. And to be honest, it kind of looked like a ghost town. I don't know if it's because of the pandemic or whatever the case may be. But for Jacksonville to be so big and to have the population that it has, uh, it really seemed like a, a ghost town. But there are a surplus of reasons why you should move to Jacksonville, Florida. And there is also reasons why you should not move to Jacksonville, Florida. So if you think about moving to Jacksonville, Florida, watch my top reasons not to move to Jacksonville, Florida. Number 10, pest. Now, some type of exterminator website says the most common pests are bed bugs, mosquitoes, rodents, termites, and cockroaches. I mean, I grew up in the projects. I know what it's like to, you know, turn the lights on and the cockroaches scatter, you know, or, <laughs> you know, like you have like rodents in your house. Uh, I, I can definitely remember uh, a time where, you know, I think if I'm not mistaken, the rodents were like big and, you know, you would go to sleep and, <laughs> you know, they would crawl on you. That's not a... I don't know if that, that'd be a good feeling to you, but yeah. And bed bugs? Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. Bed bugs? <laughs> yeah, I don't even get started on that right there. But yeah, keep that in mind before moving to Jacksonville, Florida. Number nine sports. Now, I personally myself don't care too much about sports. I just don't understand how people go so hard for people they don't know. And if you like sports, Jacksonville, well, you know, they offer that here. You know, in the South in general, it seems like from what I've been seeing, sports are like religion to these people. It's like somebody who doesn't know LeBron James. If you talk wrong about LeBron James, they might fight you over LeBron James. It's like, yo, it's not that serious. It's, it's just not. But I was reading on extraspace.com. It said Jacksonville has plenty of teams for you to check out. Get ready to yell Duval as you cheer on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Every fall at TIAA Bankfield, take yourself out of the ball game to see the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> MILB play at baseball grounds of Jacksonville. I mean, it goes on and just talk sports talk and whatnot, but Jacksonville offers sports. Now, this actually might be a reason why I don't move here. Um, and I actually, it's funny because I kind of somewhat sort of was thinking about moving to Jacksonville, Florida. It, it, it really seemed like a, a decent place, but yeah, sports and people going so hard over sports, I, I'm not really too fond of that. Number eight, transportation. Now, Innovative Property Solutions says the public transportation in Jacksonville isn't great. If you own your own car, then getting around Jacksonville isn't too bad. However, if you have to take public transport, the wait times really add up. It's possible to get around using public transit. The inadequate schedules and frequent delays will make it harder than it should be. That said, the transit situation in Jacksonville is better than some other Floridian cities and nearby states i ain't gonna lie from what i can recall when i was in jacksonville florida uh, man it it seemed like you probably do need a car to live there that place is like huge um yeah but i mean that's just my opinion keep that in mind 
Number seven, traffic. And stay tuned to the end for some Jacksonville, Florida trivia. Now, stately.com says with around 1.4 million residents trying to get from place to place, this large city has an awful lot of roads. And that equals an awful lot of construction as it tries to maintain its roadways under the pressure of so many cars. Then eventually goes on to say, it's gonna be a while. Now in Jacksonville, Florida, in my personal opinion, this is like one of those places like Atlanta. It, it, it kind of confuses me a little bit because like eight miles away, um, like in a country settings might be like, or eight miles might be like eight minutes, you know, one minute per mile. But eight minutes in Jacksonville, Florida? During times of congested traffic? Eight miles, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. I don't know, something crazy. And, you know, because I think uh, I was traveling from point A to point B, and I might be going to a restaurant like two miles away, and two miles is like, you know, 15 to 25 minutes, like something like that. And it's just like, that's kind of confusing to me because it's like, why is two two miles taking so long? I, I don't understand. You know, I'm now I'm I'm exaggerating, or you know, I I can't actually remember or recall the exact times and whatnot. But yeah, just keep that in mind. The traffic here is is, is, is some serious. Number six, crowded. Now, are you somebody who don't like to be around a lot of people? If so, this may not be the place for you. It's somewhere around a million people in Jacksonville, Florida. A million. It's a somewhere around that number. Um, yeah, if that's going to be a problem, you may not want to live here. Number five, police. I know you guys might be thinking, what about the police? What about the police? Now, somebody on Quora says the police, even with all the violent crimes, still miraculously find time to harass drivers. The police are brutal and corrupt. Now, I don't know if that's true, but it's worth doing some research. You know, I'm I'm a minority. I'm black uh, and I get nervous. I'm not going to lie when police pull me over. I'm just being uh, I'm, I get, get a little nervous. Um, But yeah, you, you, you might want to do some research on that. Keep that in mind. Number four, schools. Now, vtanner.org says, Duval County schools regularly rank at or near the bottom in virtually every significant measurement of educational achievement. Test scores are much lower here than they are in other parts of the state. The grade schools are somewhat immune to this disadvantage, but you will definitely see problems in the upper grades. Many families opt to send their children to private or religious schools as a way to counter this issue. And even then, it is not always successful. Before deciding on where to move, you will want to take a look at the grades given for each school. Keep that in mind. Trivia time. Jacksonville is home to the oldest A, dog park, B, skate park, C, children's park, or D, water park. And if you guessed B, skate park, then you are correct. Jacksonville is home to the oldest skate park in the United States, Arlington's Kona Skate Park. Tony Hawk actually competed at the Kona Skate Park before making it big. Number three, employment. Now, V. Tana says the economy of Jacksonville has always struggled to find its footing throughout the history of the city. There has never really been a lot of strength to its overall economic presence. Even when the slow and steady growth that began in 2003, the financial recession in 2008 was something that impacted the community hard. Even more than a decade later, the unemployment rate in the city are higher than they are comparatively to the rest of Florida at 10%. There are only three Fortune 500 companies present in the community as well. Keep that in mind. Number two. Construction. Now, I read somewhere that the construction on the highways are nonstop and traffic is terrible in rush hour 
as well. Keep that in mind. Number one, crime. Now, um, B10.org says, one of the reasons why Jacksonville struggles in this area is because of the ongoing racial tension that occurs in the city. Even though residents elected their first African-American mayor in 2011, the history of segregation and profiling is still prominent. During the six, 1960s, Hemming Plaza was home of the Axe Handle Saturday events where black protesters were attacked by white residents. Uh, yeah. And there is definitely crime in this city. Area Vibes rates the crime here as an F. And the crime is 59% higher than the nation's average. There are 35,974 total crimes. 3,957 crimes out of every 100,000 people in Jacksonville, Florida. Keep that in mind. So there you guys have it. That's the list. Some of my top reasons why you shouldn't move to Jacksonville, Florida. I mean, overall, Jacksonville does seem like a decent place, but you definitely want to weigh out these cons with the pros. Um, keep all of these things in mind. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video. You know, if you want to. Subscribe. But only if you want to. You know, leave some comments. But if you want to, though, you know. Uh, and until next time. I wish you guys nothing but the best.